this week, I sit down with Brittany Wagner. She's a licensed professional counselor. Um, she's a couples therapist. She sees a lot of couples in her practice. Not only is she a couples therapist, but she is also a professional um, coach. It, she helps people set up practices. She helps couples um, improve their relationships. She helps professionals work on um, improved burnout. So I sat down with her and I wanted to t listen and have her talk to us about how people can experience upset in relationships. Relationships are hard and I wanted you all to hear what it's like from a therapist's perspective on um, the importance of getting help if you're in a relationship and how someone can benefit from relationship counseling. So I hope you enjoy our discussion. Hi, so I'm here today with Brittany Wagner. She's with Tidemark Therapy and she's a couples therapist in Sherman, Texas. She, um, well Brittany, actually you tell me a little bit about just yourself. Well, I've got about seven years experience working with people, um, and specifically I've been working about uh, two years really with couples. That's really been where my passion I've found is really lied. And I invited Brittany to join me today because she's a couples therapist, um, and she works a lot of, with a lot of couples mm -hmm. in her practice. Tell me, Brittany, what is it about couples that you like? working with them? Um, I think it just stems from my own personal experience, really. Like, I had a lot of relationship issues in the beginning, mm -hmm. and, like, especially when we moved in together, we were really just arguing a lot, and we just really didn't know how to get along with one another really well. And so, I knew really how painful that could really be for people, mm -hmm. um, and for myself, and I was like, if I can help correct that for people and make it a loving relationship and not be quite as painful for people or feel like they're disconnected, then that's what I want to do. So, the point of this channel is to help remove the stigma of asking for help, but in your practice, you see a lot of couples. So clearly, mm -hmm. people have relationship conflict, mm -hmm. and that's the reason why people come to therapy. But what do you think keeps a couple from coming and getting help? I think a lot of times people uh, don't want to come to therapy, especially for couples therapy, because they're feeling like they're going to be, um, like, I'm going to take sides with mm -hmm. the other person mm -hmm. and that they're not going to feel like their their concerns or their feelings are really going to be heard by me. Um, they also sometimes um, really just don't know what to expect from the therapy process itself. And sometimes that's just enough to just prevent somebody from actually coming in and trying to seek help. What would you say is like a major concern that a lot of couples bring to you? Um, typically, the biggest three things that I see, honestly, is if there's been infidelity in a relationship and how do you get past that betrayal, really? Um, another big thing that I see is they just say, man, I really feel disconnected from my partner. I feel like we just don't know how to communicate anymore. We're not listening to one another and all we do is argue. And then um, I hear a lot too about like, we just don't agree on parenting styles. Mm -hmm. So really a lot of the things that would bring an individual into counseling may mm -hmm. be a reason why a couple may need to come in together. What's the benefit of a couple coming in together versus an individual? Um, I think a couple coming in together is because you can always talk about another person if you're just coming in individually by yourself, mm -hmm. but you don't really know how they're going to respond or act to what it is that you're thinking and feeling. And if you can bring a couple in together, then you get to see firsthand and you get to experience mm -hmm. firsthand exactly what the other person is experiencing or what it is that they think and they feel. And I help couples communicate that to one another. Mm -hmm. So it kind of takes the guesswork out of like what to expect from their partner. So really you get to see in a couple session how they may interact with each other mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. You get to see that in real time. Yeah and what's really great about it is we get to see how those interactions really begin to change the more mm -hmm. that they start coming to therapy mm -hmm. and all that that um, 
the arguments or the the not hearing one another mm-hmm. or not being supportive of one another that starts to disappear and you start seeing you know support and love start shining through in small glimpses in therapy so that's why you like working with the yes. couple so much to see that growth that's really yeah. cool so you mentioned infidelity communication and mm-hmm. parenting are sort of the big three reasons why people come to counseling but why or how do these things become an issue for a couple you know they honestly become an issue for a couple because they try to not talk about it they try Mm -hmm. to avoid um because maybe before like in the past they tried to talk about it Mm -hmm. um and it just didn't really like work out or you know they didn't feel like they were being understood really what it boils down to is there's three big questions that we um, ask our partners Mm -hmm. in a relationship and it's can I count on you when I need you does Mm -hmm. what I have to say matter Mm -hmm. and do you love me and if at any point we're questioning one of those three things or maybe even more of those things then it's going to create arguments it's going to create tension and it's just going to fester and build and people are going to start coming in for those issues Mm -hmm. so you probably get to see in a couple how maybe an individual might connect or relate to other people in their life too Absolutely, So yes. probably a lot of individual growth can happen mm-hmm. in couples counseling, too. Yeah. The, the good thing about the, I mean, the model of therapy that I work from with couples counseling is it doesn't just work for couples. It works for all the relationships in your life. So with your mom, your dad, your, your cousin, your aunt, uncle, kids, mm-hmm. um, friends, it's going to be like a life-changing process. It's not just something that strictly is confined to just your relationship. Mm. Okay, cool. You know, a lot of questions that I hear and you probably hear from couples is how does their past baggage mm-hmm. get into their relationships or impact their relationships now? Does that happen and what do you see that looking like? It absolutely does happen because... um you know, whether it's through like previous relationships that we've had or relationships that we had with our parents growing up, like we as humans, we're like hardwired for connection, right? Mm-hmm. And so we want so desperately to belong and to, to feel like we matter to other people. Mm-hmm. And so it really creates tension in our relationships when we're not feeling like that um, with our partners, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And it really makes it hard for us to really kind of swallow that pill when um, when we have so few of those connections in today's world. Technology has really kind of made us very isolated. Right. And so really the, the people that we can truly feel like we can count on or that are in our corner Potentially, the sources are our parents, um, mm-hmm. maybe some close friends if you have them, and uh, a partner. And so, if we're having tension in that, it's going to cause problems, right? But what really happens is, and to to get back to your question, mm-hmm. what really happens is that we tend to um, the we get hurt by the people that matter to us Mm -hmm. most in our lives, Mm -hmm. whether it was those previous relationships, whether it was from our family members. And we don't want to get hurt like that again, right? Right. We try to remember it. And because of those experiences, we carry it forward to make sure that we don't get hurt like that again in our previous relationships. Mm -hmm. It's not something that we do on a conscious level. It happens very just instinctually, Mm -hmm. but it still happens. Right. Because relationships don't happen in a vacuum. They don't happen in isolation. True. So our experiences as children and adolescents and adulthood, we carry that into our relationships with people Mm -hmm. now. Yes. Okay, right. What is it that you want couples to know? Um, really, I want couples to know that, you know, if you're seeking therapy, it's okay to, to seek therapy. It's okay to have problems. You don't have to have everything figured out. You don't have to be perfect. Um, and if you're seeking couples counseling, you don't even really have to be married. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people think, oh, I've got to be married to seek out couples counseling because problems only happen after you get married. And that's, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that's, that's so not true. And the other thing that I really want couples to know is that the sooner that you guys start having a problem the sooner that you can come in the better if you it's a whole lot harder 
to, to fix something if it's been something that's been going on for 10 to 20 years versus mm-hmm. something that happened just last week. Mm-hmm. So a couple realizes they've got a problem and they want maybe to work on that problem and they call mm-hmm. you or any counselor for help. Mm-hmm. What can a couple expect from getting that help and getting counseling? Um, specifically for me, what they can expect is, you know, I, I'm more than open to giving people free consultations if they want to know, hey, is this really a good fit for me or not? Um, but if they actually choose to pursue uh, therapy, then the first session, I'm going to meet with you guys and um, I'm going to kind of get a background mm-hmm. of what it was like for you, like what your problems are in your relationship, what your concerns are, what your feelings are, and what it is that you really want to improve. Mm. The next two sessions, I'm going to meet with each of you guys individually um, just to get a better background of what your family life was like growing up. What's that extra baggage that you've been having that's mm. still playing a role in your relationship today? Because that helps me create a better roadmap for mm. you guys. Then after that, we come together and we start talking about what it is that bothers us. And, and the other big thing that I want couples to really know is that I don't take anybody's side in um, a relationship if there's problems I'm on the side of you guys relationship mm-hmm. not on you know one partner side or the other mm-hmm. great that's probably good for a lot of people to hear um, what would you say to couples that are in conflict um, I'd really say you know what there is hope there is light at the end of the tunnel and they um, that you can actually get through this. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and so what kind of services could you offer a couple? Mm. So I offer um, couples counseling. Typically that happens once a week, mm-hmm. but I also do several workshops um, mm-hmm. through, you know, once every few months um, just to help people feel like they can really reconnect. I also do offer some online courses mm. as well mm-hmm. in case you're just wanting to kind of get a good gauge of where you're at in your relationship and what are some of the things that you want to work on. Okay, wow, great. So how can people find you? Um, they can find me by just Googling and, and going to my website, uh, which is tidemarktherapy.com. Mm-hmm. Um, they can also, um, you'll be able to find my email address and my uh, phone number on that website great. as well. And I'll have it at... Um, here too for everyone watching this if you're interested and and Brittany I like to offer people like a wellness tip um, every week so what would be your tip for couples to help them just with something this week um, a tip for couples this week I would honestly say um, be vulnerable with one another mm. I know that that's a really big ask But the more honest and open that you can be with one another about how it is that you're feeling or what it is that you're concerned about, Mm -hmm. the more that you can do that, the closer you're going to feel connected in your relationship. Mm -hmm. And um, another tip, like if it's okay to give two. Sure. Um, The more the better. (laughs) Keep looking for the the adventure and the curiosity Mm -hmm. in you guys' relationship. Never um, think that you've learned everything about one another. Right. I like that. Okay. Well, again, her information is below. Feel free to email her with any questions. Um, You can comment below, like this video. I also am going to have my email below because I want to know your questions. What would you like to hear us talk about? Um, So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every week. So talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.